Okay, so let's take a look at uh, bar graphs. We're going to look at uh, practice quiz two, question three in a second here. So a bar graph is a graph that presents categorical data with rectangular bars where the heights of the bars represent the frequencies. So it's like a histogram, except the only difference is you don't, you don't have any bins. Uh, in place of the bins, you're going to have categories instead. So let's look at an example now. Let's look at uh, practice quiz three, number two. So let me erase this now and I'll write up the example. Okay, so here's our example. It's uh, from practice quiz two, number three. It says, suppose 145 people were asked, what fruit is your favorite? And suppose this is the survey data collected. So you have the fruit types up here. So apple, orange, banana, kiwi, blueberry, grape, and number of people who chose each type of fruit. So for apple, 35 people chose it. Orange, 30 people chose it. Banana, 10 people chose it. Kiwi, 25 chose it. Blueberry, 40 chose it. Uh, grape, 5 people chose it. So we have to construct a vertical bar graph of this categor categorical data. Okay, so it's going to look like a histogram. So, but in place of the bins now, you're going to have apple, orange, banana, kiwi, blueberry, and grape. So we're going to put those on the x-axis, and we'll have our frequencies on the y-axis. Let me do that. Okay, so I put my uh, fruit names on the x-axis. Okay, so apple, orange, banana, kiwi, blueberry, grape. And on the y-axis now, I'm going to have my frequencies. So I'm going to go by, say, increments of 10, because we have 5 all the way up to 40, say. Let's go by increments of 10 here. Actually, I went by increments of 5 uh, on the y-axis here. So now the apple has frequency 35. So we're going to draw a rectangle of 35. Now the thickness of the uh, rectangle uh, doesn't really matter here. Just make it around apple here, because again, the on the x-axis these are just labels. They're, they're not uh, they're not bins. Okay, then uh, orange is 30, so 30 is here. So do another rectangle, and make all the rectangles about the same thickness. Then, so, so it looks nicer. Uh, so banana then has 40, so that's way up here, up there. So banana is 40. Uh, sorry, banana 10, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. I was looking at blueberry. So banana said way down here 10, so it's actually just here. Okay, kiwi has 25, so 25 is up there. Now blueberry is 40, so blueberry is 40 up here. And lastly, grape is 5, so 5 is way down here. So about there. Okay, so this would be our bar graph for this categorical data. And this is a vertical bar graph. We could also do a horizontal bar graph. So let me do that next, a horizontal one. So horizontal one, and pretty much I just take this and turn it on its side. So I'd have the, uh, the fruit names on the y-axis and the frequencies on the x-axis. So let me do that next, the uh, horizontal one, say. So I'm going to erase uh, the vertical one now and do a horizontal one. Okay, so I've graphed now a horizontal bar graph. So again, I just put the labels, <coughs> the fruit names on the y-axis and the frequencies on the x-axis. This guy would be horizontal bar graph. So the apple would be 35. Orange would be 30, banana 10, kiwi 
25, blueberry 40, grape 5. You could write the uh, frequencies in here. You could say, I guess it doesn't matter. You could write them in there if you wanted to. Uh, the actual frequencies, uh, it's okay. So, uh, okay, we're done with practice quiz two, number three now. So I'm gonna leave the video here. So let's leave the video here. We're gonna continue in the next video with the last question on the practice quiz. Okay, so let's leave it here.